let's have a look at question six in this video. So the proportion of students that finish the test between 120 and 150 minutes is 0 0.77. So this question is related to the previous question of finishing the statistics test. Now we saw the normal distribution over here. So let's crop that. Let's crop that from here and we're gonna solve it. We're gonna solve it below. So if we take this like that, copy and then paste it here. So what do we have now? We have the proportion of students who finished the test between 120 and 150 minutes, meaning that we want the area between 120 and 150. And 150 is one standard deviation to the right of the mean. So 150 would be long, would be long over here. What we're interested in is this area that we're shading right now. So what does that mean? We want to find the proportion, the probability that our observation X is between 150 and 120. Now we're going to solve it with our standardization, but we're also going to explain intuitively. And let's start with explaining the intuition first. So we can see that 120 is one standard deviation to the left of the mean and 150 is one standard deviation to the right of the mean. So even without doing the math for the Z statistic, we already can intuitively say that we're looking for the proportion of the Z value. So we're standardizing X into Z. That's going to be between one. So one standard deviation to the right of the mean and minus one, which means minus one standard deviation or one standard deviation to the left of the mean. That's what we're looking for. We literally can argue it just by looking at the normal distribution. But even if we want to prove it just to just to make sure we will prove it by standardizing by standardizing the X into the Z value. So if we standardize, we will have the proportion of the Z statistic, which are going to be between the following values. We standardize 120 by calculating how much it differs from the mean of 132 in terms of standard deviations in terms of 12 units of standard deviation. And the same goes for the 150. How much does 150 deviate from the mean of 132 in terms of standard deviations, where the standard deviation is 12 units, 12 standard units, so to speak. Now, if we do the math, we'll notice that we get the same answer. The probability that Z is between 120 minus 132, that's minus 12, divided by 12 is minus 1, and 150 minus 132, that's equal to 150 minus 132, that's equal to 22 divided by 12, that's 1.5. I'm sorry, I did a, a, small, a, a small mathematical mistake here. That should have been 1.5. I, um, yeah, small mistake. So this would be the range that we're looking for the Z distribution. Now, let's draw the Z distribution and we're going to see how we find it because we have to work with the values from the table, from the table of the Z distribution. This is going to be our Z distribution over here. Now, we want to find out what is the area between the value of 1.5 and minus 1. So minus 1. We are looking for this area over here. Now, if we have a look in the Z distribution in the table for the Z values, for the probabilities of the Z values, we only have the areas to the left of the Z value. So we have the area to the left of 1.5 all this all this area so that's going to give us in the table this probability the area under this entire curve which is the probability of z being less than 1.5 but then we only need the area until this point until the point of minus one so what that means is that we have to subtract this small tail the tail to the left of minus one so we have to subtract the probability of the z value being less than minus one and now we can solve it now we can solve it, which is going to be 0 0.0.9332. This is going to be this probability where Z is less than 1.5. That's 0 0.9332 minus the probability that Z is less than minus 1, which is equal to 0 0.1587. And the difference between them is going to equal to is going to equal to 0 0.7. So 0 0.7745. In other words, 
we have 77.45% of students in this area that finish the test between 120 and 150 minutes. So if you look at the answer key, what do they say? They say that it's also 0 0.7745. So the answer is true and we are done.